you don't know how to use OpenSea correctly. Now, I'm telling you, you don't. You think you do. You're thinking right now, like, I know how to use OpenSea. No, you don't. We're going to show you how to use it correctly because we're experts. <laughs> Because we've done it all wrong, mate. We've been yeah. told <laughs> time we've and time again. Time and time again. But guys, in this video, we're going to show <laughs> some open sea tips and tricks to help you grab those projects a lot faster. Dirty Dan's over there. Dan, what's yeah. up? What do you do on open sea? How do I use it? Can I hit him with one of my favorite ones? Get um, it's, how to, it's how to pay no gas for buying an NFT. Now, for those who don't, those who don't know, whenever you buy an NFT, if I was to click the buy now button, I'm gonna have to pay gas on this transaction. But, and this has caught me out before, if I click the make an offer button, they actually pay the gas if they do accept that offer. So, if you want to, and like this is, the, and this is the thing, this is the trick. So I want you guys not to get caught out. That's what I'm telling you. So it's a little bit of tricky. Maybe you might be able to get someone with it. Hey, I'm not not saying pull the wool over people's <laughs> eyes. If they really, if they want to sell it to you, they're going to sell it to you. Blame Dan. Um, but <laughs> but the thing is, if someone makes an offer to you, so let's say it was this project at point zero two five, and they make an offer of point zero two six, you might be like, oh, what idiots! Oh, of course I'm going to accept this offer. Low and below, they've actually just smurfed you out of some freaking money um <laughs> because they didn't pay the gas fee you paid the gas fee and so that's something that i want you to consider is if there is something that you've got time on and you don't need to ape into straight away make multiple different offers across the project at a price that is very close to or just below um, that way they still think oh this guy's just trying to get a bargain and that way you might actually get accepted you don't have to pay gas and you get it at a good price um, i've saved probably five six hundred dollars at least on doing that i won't lie i'm super impatient i don't make offers i'm just like like the price <laughs> buy it now pay the gas but not nah, it's super smart to do it this way i just can't wait <laughs> but we're making offers but it's super smart dude now in the same sort of vein talking about offers and making and receiving offers there's one thing that i want you to avoid doing and that's wasting your time so i'm going to share a tip about how to avoid wasting your time let's say you were trying to sell this one here i am not drizzy tizzle i wish i was um but let's say we're trying to sell this nft right now we can see there's some offers of 0.176 if I was this person, I'm not going to be accepting those offers. Those offers are trash, but you can actually make counter offers. Now, the thing is, I don't want you to waste any time, so I'm going to tell you what you need to do. So what you want to do is click on the name of the person, click on their address, quickly open up Etherscan, and you can see that this person, you can actually look at how much wrapped ETH they've got. They've only got 0.18. I'm not making a counter offer to someone that can't afford anything over 0.2. Bum bow, I'm not worrying about this person. Don't, whoever this person is, though, we're not. Don't mean to insult you. We're just showing this. No, no, no. For I've got less in my account only. right now, so <laughs> <laughs> of rat teeth. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> But that's, what, that's the other thing. Like, so we want to make sure we're avoiding time wasting and mm. submitting counter offers for something that's pointless. It's not worth our time. So um, I'll do that if I'm really looking at trying to get rid of something. If I'm not trying to get rid of it, I just let it sit there. But mm. if I need to get rid of it, I'm going to make a counter offer that that's actually appealing to the other person they can afford. 100%. And it's just being efficient. I think this space moves so friggin' fast. Like somebody asked me the other day, like, how fast, how long do I have in a project? Like, Yesterday would be the best time to do it because there's you're competing against thousands of people who are doing the same thing who have better tools than you. So anything mm -hmm. you can do to be more efficient to save money and time, that's what this video is about. And all this stuff is free, by the way. Dan, is there anything else in there we can do to save us time? Oh yeah. Or well, maybe it's not time, but it's an interesting mm -hmm. thing that a lot of people don't look into. And I'll make this nice and quick so you can get onto talking about your things. But a lot of people are like, oh, what's the price until the one ETH floor? What's the price until the two ETH floor? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know how to find this stuff out, and that's completely fine. But right now, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on the floor price, which is just a short way of clicking on the buy now button. So I can see there's 1033 items for sale. And if you just go down here, chuck to ETH to one. So now I know that it will only show me the listings up until one eighth. So I can see it's a 490 floor until we get to one eighth. So that's a little bit of an interesting thing. If you want to quickly figure out where the gaps are on the floor yeah. and where the floor is. Um, so that's another thing to help you figure out if you've got a really thin floor to a target price or not. That was a perfect segue over to the stuff that I like to look at when I'm in OpenSea. I know a lot of times people ask me, what are these purple boxes that we see inside of here? So what, you look, what you're looking at right now, I've talked about it before. If you click the link above, we talk about Trade Sniper, but these boxes show you the rarity and the actual rank from Trade Sniper there. So I'm not gonna click on it, but if I did, it would take me directly to Trade Sniper. The reason why it says null is that Invisible Friends hasn't been revealed yet. That's what the yep. boxes are all about. So 
two very simple things I look at in OpenSea that people don't do. They, they're normally here and they're like, oh, sales. I want to know, are things selling fast so I can know if I want to get in or not? I'm like, there's more to it than just looking at that. Just click listings. Look at the listings and here's what happens a lot of times. People come in and they overpay for something or buy it at the wrong time because if I go in here now and I can see over here to the left, it says list, list, sell. So if I see something that's more listings than sales, that mm -hmm. means that I probably shouldn't be entering right now. It's a bad time because people are trying to offload them and I have way too much competition to sell mine, especially if I bought it at a bad price. So I like to have them both up listings and sales so I can just see the difference between the two. Those are the main things that I like to look at inside of OpenSea. Did you have a question there, sir? No, I was just going to say there's no bad price for invisible friends, by the way. So just ape him. <laughs> It's a good point. Like, this is Invitable Friends we're talking about. Most projects won't be like this. Like even look at these offers. That's crazy. But, it's insane. Yeah. So another little trick here that people that like to use to be a little bit cheeky. If you look at this first one, it shows 181 likes. So people will set their reserve price super high and then put the auction starting price low in order to get more attention. So if you look at this, it's a pretty big gap. I had 181 on this one, 28 on that one. And when something's not revealed, any little thing can make you want to buy something right so if i see this yeah. if i don't know what's going on i'm like why is this one 181 that's 28 that's 27 is it a rare do they know something that i don't know so it's a very little subtle psychological thing that mm -hmm. you can do by setting those low auction starting prices to get a little bit more attention around your listing so those are some what? tips and tricks but why do people like it then is it just because it's at the bottom and they're like i'm walking past it that's in yeah, the light. I, I think so because it's going to be the first thing that shows up on the list there as well yeah. as soon as people go in and they click on invisible friends that cheapest one is going to show up at the front of the yeah. list and so the, think about how many people are looking at this list yeah, yeah there might be people with hopium that are kind of like oh imagine if the reserve is only like a little bit more and then they'll find out so um that's the other thing when hmm. when you make bids and if someone outbids you you get an email notification so um all that stuff goes on if you are making lower price bids as well 100% guys. So we just want to jump in and show you something very easy on OpenSea that you can do to save gas, to be a little bit more efficient as well. You don't have to always use these tools. Keep in mind, even on the home page, there's a lot of things you can do by looking at the latest projects and volume and those things as well. And like we talked about before, a lot of the tools that you use pull the API from OpenSea anyway. So you can go straight to the source if you need to, to save a little bit of money. Once you flip more things and get more money, maybe you can buy a tool, maybe not. Maybe you just use this. If you like this video, click the playlist above where we go a little bit deeper with some of those paid tools. Until next time, we out. Peace. Get out of here. Get out.